Welcome, welcome to another rousing edition of U.S. History Review. Um, we're going to continue on our notes from last time, um, Battles of the American Revolution Part 1. This will be Part 2. We ended at Saratoga last time, and now we find ourselves in the winter at Valley Forge. A winter at Valley Forge, and guys, again, I'm going to suggest you make flashcards. If you want to make something like this, too, you can, but I suggest flashcards because uh, it makes it easier to study. Um, Washington's greatest challenge during the entire Re American Revolution is keeping his army together at Valley Forge. He is going to be low on food, sh food shelter, clothing. His troops start to desert. Um, and no, they do not start, like, you know, becoming ice cream. They, like, start leaving the army. They start leaving the military. Disease starts to run rampant. Um, we talked about smallpox spreads through these camps like nobody's business. And people's immune systems are low because they're cold because they don't have shoes. It's kind of like a vicious cycle. Um, next, while um, Washington is trying to figure out how to inspire his troops, he convinces Thomas Paine to write something called the American Crisis. And this is the one that says, um, these are times that try men's souls. Um, the summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will in this time shrink from the duty of their country. He's trying to tell them that, you know, people who are going to be here when it's easy, you know, they are, they are nothing compared to the respect and honor that you deserve to stay here while it's tough. Um, and this will inspire the troops to keep fighting. Okay, Yorktown. We see that Yorktown be the last battle of the American Revolution. Now, what I want you to know about Yorktown, A, I want you to remember your memory trick, and I don't need to, I'm going to give you, like, five seconds to do it. Five. What's your memory trick? Three. Two. One. Okay, here's your memory trick. Yorktown starts with a Y. Y is near the end of the alphabet, therefore, uh, we're going to say that Yorktown is near the end of the war. Y is near the end of the alphabet, Yorktown is near the end of the war. Um, the king decides at this battle that a war is going to be too costly to continue to pursue, and General Cornwallis surrenders. Cornwallis is the British leader. So we start, um, we start peace talks at that time. Okay. Um, these start at the Treaty of Paris, 1783. This ends the American Revolution, and Britain makes, uh, makes peace with both Spain and France. Man, I cannot talk today. So be sure that you've written all this down. Woo, moving on. Okay. Hold on, sorry. Hold on, I'm trying to paper. Okay. All right, our next one is John Paul Jones. Now, John Paul Jones is going to be a man who fights at sea. He's going to be in charge of um, our sea battles, and if you can remember anything about the British, you know that they have a great navy. And so when he, he is asked to surrender, however, when asked to surrender, he makes this famous statement, I have not yet begun to fight. So that was fairly impressive. Um, the next thing your quiz will be over is, are the five weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation. And hopefully that's it. Okay. Uh, we're going to start over here with the pinky. We're going to pretend this is a pinky. The pinky represents a weak central government. There is no president. Weak central government means no president. Secondly, the ring finger is going to say no gold or currency. We could not have gold or we could not have um, currency. The middle finger right here represents border boundary disputes. It divides your hand in the middle it also represents border boundary disputes. Right here, pointer. Pointer, where is pointer? Where? Oh, here I am, here I am. Okay, pointer. Um, states keep blaming each other over their problems. They say, no, you're to blame. No, you're to blame. No, you. It's your whole family. It's awful. And finally, a thumbs down means that other countries are not respecting us at all. Those are the five weaknesses you need to know about. This is me pocket signing off.